I was about to throw away this old Kohler faucet sprayer, but my curiosity made me stop. I had just replaced it with a new one at my mother-in-law's home because the buttons were sticking and the aerator had disintegrated. Like I did as a kid, I took it apart to figure out how it works. First, I removed the nozzle plate, screen, aerator, and washer. Then the pause and diverter buttons. Next, I slid out the valve body. Now some nerdy stuff. Sliding the diverter forward, diverts the water to the three slots and to the spray nozzles. Sliding it backwards, diverts the water to the center and through the aerator. The pause valve is supposed to automatically spring open, but I needed a long nose pliers to pull open the valve. This retaining clip holds the pause valve in place, so I removed the clip to remove the pause valve. Here's a look at the spring and mineral buildup on the valve plunger. It looked like the valve body could be separated and I was right. Sliding the diverter forward allowed me to pull it out. Look at the mineral buildup. And here are all the disassembled parts. The plastic nozzle plate and valve shell were placed in white distilled vinegar to remove the heavy mineral buildup. I read that vinegar eats away at rubber, so the parts with rubber items were soaked in dish soap and water for several minutes and then scrubbed clean. I could have removed the rubber o-rings but wanted to avoid the chance of stretching out any of them. After three hours in the vinegar, the nozzle plate was clean but the valve shell still needed more soak time. Another couple of hours and it looked almost brand new. One last thing, in good lighting, I verified that none of the nozzles were plugged. If any were plugged, I would have used a standard paper clip to unplug them. Next was the time for reassembly. For the O-rings, I lubricated them with this Danko silicone grease. The Danko website states that the silicone grease is NSF 61 approved and safe for use on rubber O-rings and will not contaminate drinking water. I then reinstalled the diverter and snapped the valve body back together and the diverter easily slid back and forth. At the bottom of the pause valve chamber was a stem to hold and center the spring. I reinstalled the plunger and tested that it automatically sprung back up on its own. Let's see that again. The retaining clip was then reinstalled. and the valve body reinstalled into the outer shell. Then I pressed on and tested the pause button and the diverter button. As for the aerator, I did some research and ordered this replacement. Genuine Cola part number 1061023. I'll leave a link in the description. I inserted the new washer, the new aerator, and the spray nozzle screen. The nozzle spray plate was screwed back onto the outer shell by hand and then tightened with a wrench. Testing was simple because my mother-in-law purchased the same kitchen faucet that we have. Pausing the flow, spray, stream, spray, stream. Then it was time to clean this spray head.